people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus and His grace because of sin. Now what is sin? The transgression of the law, according to 1 John 3 and 4. So sin is the transgression of the law. But modern Christianity tells us that the law has been done away with, it's been nailed to the cross, we don't need it anymore. So, law, modern Christianity says we don't need you anymore, brother, you can go sit down. So now, now, the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus and His grace because of what? Sin, but what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law, but we got a problem. If we say that the law is done away with and we don't need it anymore, then what is sin? Sin's the transgression of the law. So if you have no law, by definition, you can have no sin. So you can go sit down, Miss Grace. Thank you. All right, so now let's do it again. The people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of Jesus and His grace because of what? Because of sin, right? We fell into sin. We needed God's grace. But notice, when you take away the law, you have no sin because sin is the transgression of the law. So you take away the law. By definition, you also take away sin. When you take away sin, why do you need grace? If you have no law, you have no sin. If you have no sin... Why do you need grace then? So brother, thank you. You can go sit down. So now the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the gospel of who? Jesus. But what did Jesus do? He died for our sins. But if you take away the law, then you take away sin. If you take away sin, then you have no grace. Because you have no need for grace. If you take away grace, then what did Jesus do? He didn't do anything though if you take away the law. Are you seeing the point? And so, you can go sit down, Ms. Redeem. Thank you. And so now the people go to church to hear the preacher preach the what? Now, what's the gospel? The good news. But hold on. What's the good news? Of Jesus. But if you have no law, you have no sin. If you have no sin, then you have no grace. If you have no grace, then you have no need of Jesus. And if you don't have Jesus in the equation, then what's the good news? You have none. Are you with me? So thank you. You can go sit down. So now the people go to church to hear the preacher preach a whole lot of nothing. Are you with me? Hey, just feel good messages. All right. Now we're going to get to the reading of the letter. 